Hi guys, my name is Sally Wilson. I'm the lead solution engineer at Zscaler for local government organisations, NHS, policing and blue light within the UK and I. Today we're going to talk about cross collaboration across all of these public sector organisations that exist within the UK infrastructure. Let's think about how these organisations need to work together in a real world scenario. If we take the scenario of a road traffic collision, here's the first responder that is on site at a road traffic collision. It's the policeman. The policeman's going to attend the scene and probably he's going to phone in the ambulance because, you know, citizen X who's been involved in the road traffic collision needs, you know, some medical attention. They might also then need to collaborate with other areas of local government or the NHS. So the police officer might need to check the local government database to understand exactly who Citizen X is, who his family are, and let them know that probably he's going to be late home for tea. And what about the NHS? Think about, you know, an ambulance service, where, do, where are they going to take Citizen X, you know, once they decipher what needs to happen and what medical attention he needs. How does all that play out with a scenario where each of these users has devices that is only connected to their organisation's network? Traditionally, today, that would be brokered by firewalls. And maybe a point-to-point -point link in between the two. The police officer's device calls home to the VPN concentrator that exists within his organization. There is probably then another VPN that is running across this network that is going to allow him into the local government organization. And what happens then? He's given implicit trust and access to all of the local government resources through that VPN connection. It's not very zero trust. What about the ambulance then? Same principles apply. There's a firewall at each end, I can tell you that. And that laptop is connecting to the Blue Light Organization's uh, VPN concentrator. That's then creating probably another VPN to the NHS organization in order for that ambulance to decipher, okay, who is Citizen X? What does he require? Is this NHS organization uh, capacity and resource to be able to deal with the injuries of Citizen X? And how does that look? Again, his device is placed directly on the NHS network. I don't need to tell you about the vulnerabilities that have been exposed within NHS organizations today. And this is why this trust model simply doesn't work. So how do we make that better? What if? In between all of these organizations, there was a switchboard in the sky, or the Zero Trust Exchange. The switchboard in the sky is the broker between all of these organizations, the resources and applications that they deliver, and it's giving only the users that require access to the specific information or the specific applications given based on identity, policy, and risk. So road traffic collision, Citizen X who's being dealt with by the police officer, the police officer in order to access the local government database would make, through an agent on that police officer's device, an outbound call to the Zero Trust Exchange. The Zero Trust Exchange is gonna say, okay, who are you? What policy? can I'm up against you? And what is the risk of you as a user at this time? And only when identity policy and risk have been checked and we're happy that the connection should be made, will the Zero Trust Exchange stitch the connection from the police officer's device to the application or database and resource that exists within the local government organisation. Crucially, that device is not allowed on the local government network the device does not know where the local government network is, nor does it have a trusted IP address that is given from the local government network VPN SIP. That's a zero trust model. Again, ambulance device. A lightweight agent is making an outbound call to the zero trust exchange. The zero trust exchange is saying, who are you? What is the policy that I can apply against you? And what is the risk of me allowing this transaction at this time? and only once all of those checks and balances have been made, will we stitch the connection to the application or the resource or database, which is gonna tell the ambulance driver which hospital to go to, which hospital has the correct resources, 
which hospital has the capacity to be able to appropriately deal with the injuries that Citizen X has, has managed to sustain within the road traffic collision. All of this is happening at a cloud-based level without any of the users understanding the location of any of the resources that they need and without the need for multiple point firewalls and point-to-point -point connections that sit in between to do the brokering. And we're applying the principles of true zero trust modeling to only stitch users to only the applications and resources that they need to do their jobs without giving implicit trust to anybody. Thanks very much for listening, guys. My name's Sally Wilson. If you'd like to know and understand more, please contact us through our website or request a demo. We'd be more than happy to come and talk to you further about this.